The Michaela Community School in North London made the decision last March, citing concerns about prayer rituals causing segregation and intimidation within a group of Muslim pupils. One pupil challenged the school's decision at the High Court, claiming it's discriminatory. The High Court upheld the ban, though. The head teacher is Catherine Burble Singh. She, she's really famous disciplinarian, so-called tiger teaching is her thing. She says this is a victory for all schools. But do you think it's unfair on pupils who basically just wanted to practice their religion. Ben, what do you think? Legally, I think the court's probably got this one right. I don't think the law should dictate how schools should handle this. I don't think it's an intrinsic right to be able to pray. That said, it doesn't sit comfortably with me. I don't see the harm that is done by this pupil, all pupils, spending five minutes out of their lunch break. It's not lessons, they're not missing out on education, praying. If they want to do that rather than chatting to their friends or skipping or playing football or whatever kids do in the playground these days, the question for me is, what harm does that do? Does that do harm to their education? No. Does it do harm to the teachers? Can't Canada does it if they do it five times a day. Which but they're only doing it, she wants to do it once. She wants to do five minutes during her if, lunch break. What you're saying tells me you don't understand Catherine Birbel Singh's ethos. You know, I don't, to be honest, um, well, I find it very well, strange. Well, you should read about it because it's an incredible ethos and she has... Lots of religions in her school, 50% Muslim, may I add. But, but she has lots of religions and no religion is given any special privileges. And what, but what she does is, because what she says is she's in big favour of multiculturalism, but she wants kids to talk across their religious divide, not be divided in school but, by who they are, what I, religion they but are. Why does it, do, why did, but to go to, to, to Ben's point, why does it cause a divide to have somebody... Yeah. OK, they had a prayer mat. They get a prayer mat out for five minutes in the playground. She, her, her ethos is clear. She doesn't make exceptions for Jewish children, for Christian children, for, for any other religion in the school. And she says that they talk about all of those religions. And she said, one of the things she said, which is really interesting, she said, we eat vegetarian food at lunch to enable us to break bread across racial and religious mm. divides. So very, she's very conscious of other people's religions. But there's no but ban on prayer. You can pray if you want to, because people can't, I mean, you just can't kneel down with other people and pray. When... When you go to that school, it is made clear to you, every single pupil, every parent, it is made clear to them that there are no exceptions. Now, if that is a problem for you, don't send your kids to But, that Carol, school. this, this ban came in is, last year. What, what she... Sorry? The pupil was already at the school when the ban came in. It wasn't like they knew that no, was the rule I'm, when they sent their Well, child. I'm sorry, that's not true, because a lot of the other Muslims in the school have, have before and since, were told that there was no special the, treatment... The prayer ban came in kids. last year. I think, that, so I th I think it's, it's complicated, but I think what happened was this that one person started praying, other people joined her, yeah. they began to bring in prayer mats, yes. and then quite soon you had a group of 20. Exactly. And at uh, that point, you, you had people walking past the school who could see 20 pupils on prayer mats in the playground, yes. and they were starting to think, what's going on there? And the school may have invented a rule which says you can't hang out yes. in groups of more than but, four. Because this has been going on for a very long time, but, but to me there's something very insidious behind this, because, <laughs> you know, 50% Muslims at school, when she when she banned this, and you're right, it was then, but but as Jeremy says, it wasn't happening before either. But but there were there were people when this ban came in and when it became public, teachers uh were 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 they had Glass bottles lobbed over the school walls at them. One teacher had a brick through a window. Catherine Berbersan got threats herself. They were being pressure pressurised by groups of people in much the same way as Batley. Uh, there was pressure there on the teacher at that mm. school. So this is kind of religious pressure from a group of people to say, this is what we want. I'm sorry, this is a secular country. Schools are allowed to do whatever they want. Is it a secular country when we've got bishops in the House of Lords? We are a secular country. The, law, are says a secular the country. law says that schools must provide a degree of Christian education. I mean, that, that's not secularism. We are a well, You can argue the point as much as you like. We are a secular country. And, and that is the bottom line. And, you know, when you have a teacher like this who... who I mean, I don't know how she goes on with, with, with the stuff that she gets. There are there are people in this country who want to destroy Catherine Birbelsing because she will not conform to the way that some on the left would like children to be indoctrinated in this country. And she's, she's a big part of this story, right? She, so, so people who haven't heard of her, she's a big disciplinarian. Huge disciplinarian. She doesn't let you run or shout in corridors. You have to recite poems in a sort of sing-song way so you learn them for the rest of yes. your life. That may or may not be good. And, and yeah, you, you, I mean, what's interesting is when a teacher challenged the pupils who were praying, she felt they were rude to her and they, they actually excluded two of them. Yeah. Yeah.
See, I, I, I just think if this had been any other school in the country, they would have caved in. They would have given a prayer room. Mm. And I, and that, but that completely, and she, she is, you know, and if she was a bad teacher, you could kind of understand. Her school produces some of the best results of any school in the country. And she's in a, it, she's in a deprived not... area. And, and she, as she said the other day, if you don't like the way I do things, don't come to my school. It's really that simple. But yet, even now, the parent of this girl who took this case to court is sending her youngest daughter there. So how bad is this school if, if, if the family who've taken her to court are going to send their well, other maybe, children? Well, maybe they want to change it. This is the Express front page. Victory for all schools as prayer ritual ban is back to the head teacher Catherine Burble seeing on the left the people's mother said she was profoundly dismayed by the outcome of the case <laughs> and said the case was rooted in the understanding that prayer isn't just a desirable act for us it's an essential element that shapes our lives as Muslims the schools say what had happened well and this is probably we are I don't know if you'd be concerned about this but is that there were there was intimidation between Muslim pupils. So people being asked, why aren't you fasting in Ramadan? Why aren't you praying with us? Which is exactly so that, that what wouldn't she's doing. Which is bad. And you, you know, they should come down hard on that. No child should be intimidating another to do But if you have, okay, if, let's say half the, the Muslim students at the school are on prayer mats, that creates a division Could just be. by by happening, doesn't it? But you, you don't ban people from doing something just because other people might then follow suit. If they choose to join in, but that's up to them. You don't ban everything. Just let's take a, Carol, people. let's take a call. Let's, let's see what Barry in London thinks. Bye, like Barry. Hello, good morning. What do you think of this? Who's in the right? I'm completely behind uh, the head teacher. I think she's an admirable, admirable woman. Yeah. And she has an absolute right as a head teacher to say, this is the rule in this school that there are, there are no prayers and there's no provision of prayer rooms. And if parents who are Muslim or Jewish, whoever their faith is, don't send their kids to that school. If you don't want that policy, you then don't choose another school. But she not, obviously she's not saying school. no prayer, because you can walk along, you know, you put your hands together and say, dear God, help me get through this day. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to do that. She's not banned praying. But so, so I don't see if, if you're allowed to pray, why you can't kneel with other pupils and pray with them. No, because then, then, then you're setting up a particular fun, uh, a ritual in the playground to have prayers and so on. And then the next step will be, we've seen this before, we saw in the East London Mosque who are pressing East London University to set up prayer rooms. There's a mosque 50 yards away. It will get badly. This, there's a concerted effort by certain elements in the Muslim faith to push this as a policy. And they won't accept that we're going to have sexual our country Everybody's entitled to practice their religion, wherever the religion is. But they're not entitled to say that the state must allow them all these provisions. Mm. I mean, the we've, we've now referred to the Batley it. School case a couple of times. I, my memory is a, a teacher had to leave for his own safety. Sorry, Barry, hang on. He's still in He's in hiding now, is Sorry, he? Sorry, Barry, he was suspended by the school. He's been in hiding for the last three years. Uh, why did the school suspend him? He did what was on the school curriculum. He showed a picture of Mohammed. Now, there are lots of uh, Muslims in this country who don't think that should happen. But there are no blasphemy laws in this country, so there's nothing to mm. forbid it, however. But but I, I just think Burblesing, you know, she is a remarkable teacher, as Barry has just said. And, and you know, the intimidation she has suffered to follow this trail. And they're now talking about, and if this parent is so dismayed by the court's Decision. Why is she sending her youngest daughter to this school? All right, Barry, Don't thank you. There. After the break, we'll take more calls on this. Do you agree with the school or do you say, no, the school's been too tough here because when it comes to religion, you've got to let people do their thing. Students had said it was religious discrimination. We'd love your thoughts on this. We have Brian in Newport. Hi, Brian, you were on yesterday. How are you doing? All right, not too bad. What do you think about this one? I think she's right in doing what she's doing because it should be integrated and not separated. There shouldn't be any faith or religion in school. You should learn to live together by doing these things. It's, it's separating them. It's like having Jewish schools and Muslim schools. They shouldn't about, be allowed. I mean, I, when, I was at school, when I was at school, Brian, they had morning, I think they had an assembly. We sang hymns. I remember we used to sing yeah. Onward Christian Soldiers and the pupils would all go, Onward Christian Soldiers. And they got so crazy, they gave the whole school detention. Now, you don't want to ban all schools from having hymns. No, 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 I don't mean that. When I was in school, we had Asian friends and things like that. Uh, cultures and things was never brought into it. You was your friend or you wasn't a friend. Um, and religion and that shouldn't be allowed to take over. It should be... All right. Well, there we go. Ben, what, 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 what do you think, Brian? This is it. Brian. Six, uh, more than 6,000 Christian schools in this country yeah. where there are hymns. 
Nobody has an objection with those. Nobody says it's outrageous that kids talk about Jesus in the classroom or assembly. When it's Islam, people have a very different view. If this school had said to a Catholic people, you must not say the rosary, there are too many so, Muslim students around, it, it's, you you know, it's segregatory, people will be outraged. So do you think that a school should change its very successful ethos because one pupil and her mother complained. Do you think it should all be chucked out? This school that churns out amazingly well-adjusted, smart Carol, kids. You think all that should be chucked in the bin because one pupil No complained. other pupil's exam results are going to suffer because one girl spends five no, minutes you, You're not answering break, the question. Right? No, I am answering the question. You're not. Yes. Should Catherine Burblesang have said, yes, because let's it, have the probe? Because it's going to have no impact on the success yes, of that is. school. Yes, it is. She's I, already this... told me, you already heard the impact it's had where Muslim pupils were fighting among each other. And, and she is very respectful of mm. other people's religions. Okay. I don't think you can ask for more than that. Brian, thank she you. she has a formula that works. All right, Sam in London. Hi, Sam. Oh, hello there. Hi, yes. Just a quick point. I, I am actually against the ban. I think we're a free society. We're a democratic society. We should let people pray if they need to. The actual Muslim prayer takes two minutes for kneeling on the mat. I think that's oh, fair. Yeah. I think your guest, I think it's Carol, is very uh, extremely Islamophobic in her tone. Oh, that's typical. Well, that's what they the call way, Catherine the Birbel saying too, because she yeah. doesn't agree. The way that you talk you're is, Islamophobic. Your, your tone is very... Yeah, your tone is very Islamophobic, very hostile. And if, you, if it was the other way around, if we were talking about cartoons about their prophet, we would be saying we're a free society, we, can, we should have freedom for everybody. But when it comes to the Muslims, when it comes to Islam, it's, it doesn't apply. The free society doesn't apply. And it has, this has, is has a you're talking about. Sam, let Carol come in. You're talking that like Muslims are an oppressed minority in this school and everywhere. They are not well, an oppressed are. minority. They are. Not no, not well, let they me are. speak. They're let me let me tell you that in this minutes. school yeah. they on, are Sam. not. They are 50% Muslim in this school and rising. And those numbers have nearly doubled that's in the not past a 10 years. That's like, saying, that's like saying in a city, in a city, South East London has black uh, African. Well, you don't have to that send your matter. kids to a school. Sam, Sam, isn't, Sam, isn't the issue here that in the end, Catherine Burble Singh is clearly an exceptional head teacher. Absolutely. And we need to say, you do your thing. You know, you say, if you yeah, want you all, all pupils to come into school wearing one she, shoe, she, do that. Yeah. You keep interrupting, Sam, so you can't hear what anyone's yeah. saying. Go on. Yeah, sorry, Sam. She, she might be an exceptional head teacher, and I accept that, but she's not allowing the freedom of humanity, the freedom of rights. Yeah, but, or but people, okay. what she's doing, what she's doing is Hang giving. Hang on, Carol. A... I'm just, just was going to say, look, surely just let the head teacher decides the rules but, for the school. Yeah, absolutely. But we allow it under the Education Act of this country. Uh, the minorities do have freedom to express their religions. We, we, aren't, we are a secular society, but we are a Christian society underlying it. If there was another school, if it was a Jewish school, this outrage would not happen. Nonsense. All right. All right. Absolute nonsense. We would nonsense. be called anti-Semitic. Nonsense. Carol would be calling us anti-Semitic. She You're has Jewish children in her school. If, if, you, if you spoke like the way you are speaking now, you would be called anti-Semitic. Right? OK, thank you, Sam. It's a bit of a stretch. Nonsense. Nice to talk to you. Yeah. Alice in Manchester, what would you like to say? Hi. Hi. Um, what I'd like to say is that that gentleman on, on your panel is talking a load of hooey. Carol is absolutely right. This teacher is absolutely unbelievable. We need more head teachers like her. Prayer should not be allowed in, in schools. It's, you know, um, children are being sent to be educated, not in religion. It's just, so, it's just absurd. Ben, because so we, we you know, should, how long should, is a piece of string? We should ban so all we, Christian schools then, Alice, should we? Because children should not be educated in religion. Prayer should not be allowed I in totally, school. I totally, absolutely. There should be no religious schools. But nobody, no nobody's arguing that, are they? Nobody is saying it's outrageous that we have schools teaching Christianity in this country. And it's yet outrageous that, that's that the same Jewish thing. Jewish schools. Really? So you don't do like any... OK, but then, but then... All right, so you don't like any faith schools. But what if parents want, want to send their kids to one? If they want to, that there are hundreds of other schools that, that, will, that will comply with their wishes. This oh, particular man. school, and you're totally missing the point. What Carol's saying is this, this, this woman who, who caused this whole problem, the mother, is sending her youngest child to the school even though she has lost the case. Yeah, no, because understood. You, you just I... don't seem to understand what I'm saying. If, go on, let Ben come back. Start, if you go down the slippery slope... Of, of allowing people to, to, uh, to have uh, to 
to do their, their prayers. They would want prayer rooms. And then uh, the Jewish children might say, oh, well, you know, oh, you know, we have to wind down for the Sabbath on a, on a, on a Saturday. And so Fridays are, are very um, um, important to okay. us. Um, so we shouldn't really have to study on that day. Both, both religions, by the way. OK, Muslim let Ben come back in. The, the idea that just because Ridiculous. she's sending her younger daughter there, Carol's point, it, it's nonsense. It's irrelevant. We Why don't is know it her, relevant? We don't know her She hates the school so much and oh, she hates we, the ethos. We don't know her Why circumstances. I only got yeah, into one school because we lived in an area where there weren't many. She might not have the money. It's not a very wealthy area. I live near there. She probably doesn't have the money to send kids privately. No, the idea that she... We don't oh, so know why only, her There's only two choices. You're either private or Michaela. I, I, I applied... State you applied to five state schools. I applied to five. I only got into one. Mm. I didn't get in. We weren't near enough to get into the Catherine Birbel Singh School has a massive waiting list. And her message to people like like this this parent is, don't come to my school if you don't agree with me. The, the idea that they're going to say, just that pause to say, Nick in Sheffield is wanting to get in. What, what do you want to say, Nick? Yeah, I just feel um, um, I don't agree with the decision because I think we're at a stage we've got a bit of a problem in terms of we've got the Equality Act 2010. We have British values. Um, one of the equality acts in terms of protected characteristics is religion and faith. Mm. Islam and the way people practice is a way of their life. It's mm. not just a religion. So I'm praying is a key part of that. I just think it goes against, you know, what we what we've put in writing in terms of policy. In so, terms so, wait, of so sorry, you want pupils to be allowed to bring prayer mats and have a designated prayer moment in the lunch hour. Well, I think that wh wh however it's done, it should be made something that's to try to incorporate because of the Equality Act. Yeah, because but of what, if, what, if, what if a Muslim pupil at the school doesn't want to take part in the prayer and they feel that, a bit threatened that, by it? That's, that, well, they shouldn't feel threatened by it. Well, because they have that's been threatened. Let, 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 let me just finish. Let me just finish. That's answer the question. That should be something that's stamped out because that's not right. And Islamically, that's not right anyway. So they shouldn't be doing that. So that's something. That's not the argument. The argument is that they're not allowing them and abandoning it. Mm. And it's, it's, so it's, it's, it's like saying if somebody's being bullied. There's, it's a very bullied. unusual case, there, uh, isn't there it? There is something behind this that I don't understand. This case has cost 150 grand in legal aid, and, and I don't believe for a second this girl just did this off, off her own back. I think there's more behind this, and I and I think the fact that the kind of intimidation that the teachers suffered in the community, the violence, the threats, the intimidation. I think this is indicative of a lot of stuff that is happening in this country. And like that guy, Sam, calls me Islamophobic because I disagree with allowing this. This okay. is what is happening everywhere. Thanks if you, for all your if calls. you disagree with any form of, of Islamist religion, you are Islamophobic. It's mm. not the case. All right, well, go on. Last I don't word. think it's Islamist to say, I want to pray at school. That's not extreme. That's just saying, I want to have the right to practice my religion for five minutes. What is extreme, is, Islamist, is, to ex what is, what is extreme is to expect everything to change for your religion. The rules, the schools, that's the not, ethos. That's just not, that, not that's what, what they want. She said, that's what they want. there's no expectation. They're meant to pray five times a day. There's no expectation from the pupil that she does that. She said, I don't want to leave a lessons. High court judge. Carol, we want five minutes. Carol, stop. We're going to have to go to our break. So thank you. I just wanted to get you two to conclude.